Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing the biggest haul that I've ever done in my entire life. I've never bought this much clothes in one period of time. I've never shopped this much. And now I'm showing it all to you guys. This is going to be a huge try on haul. I'm very, very excited. I've been keeping all of these parcels in the corner of my room for like a week. So I'm super excited to be showing you guys finally everything that I got. Disclaimer, I am not trying to show off or brag in any way. You guys actually asked me for more hauls and shopping videos, so I'm just giving you guys what you asked for. I'm also not trying to tell you guys that you have to buy all this stuff. The reason that I bought this much clothes in one period of time is because I was just fed up because I don't shop that much, says the girl with like 10 parcels on her bed. I generally don't. So what I wanted to do was just buy everything, like buy everything that I've wanted for so long and just get it over with, if you know what I'm getting at. Because I bought all this stuff in like December, it's now January, so this is kind of like a new New Year, New Me, 2021, New Style video. The links to everything will be in the description. I'm not saying that you should buy everything that I got, it's just because if I don't put everything in the description, you guys will be asking me where everything is from, what it's called, the links, all that. I'm also going to put the links to the good to know ethics rating of all of these shops because it's really important to know how good a shop is when you're buying from there. Only a couple of these shops are like on the bad end of the scale, such as ASOS, Urban Outfitters and Brandy Melville. I know why. The reason that I shop there is because in 2021, one of my goals is to shop more sustainably. So this is kind of like my last, my last chance, my last hurrah. So I'm no longer gonna shop from these places. Also ASOS is kind of a difficult one because it depends what you buy from there. I don't know. I'm just gonna go through all of the parcels, then we're gonna start unboxing or unpackaging. Um, so there's a parcel from Jaded, Brandy Melville, Urban Outfitters, Depop, another Urban Outfitters one. They sent it in two different parcels for some reason. I don't know. The Pangea, ASOS, Princess Polly, Depop, Subdued, and Black Sunrise. I'm going to start with the one which I have been waiting for. We've been waiting for this for so long. Um, ASOS. I got Dr. Martins basically, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I got the, I don't even know what they're called. I got the vegan ones because I don't want to be walking around with um, like cow skin on my feet. So here they are. They're just the simple black boots, just the vegan version. I'm pretty sure they don't look different in like any way. They're just better for the animals and the environment. So recommend getting these ones. Great. Also from ASOS, I got this um, brown like jumper. I just usually wear like black and white and I'm trying to, you know, be more interesting. Like make my style actually look good. So I just got this plain brown sweater. I also got some jewelry from ASOS. I got like gold heart chain from Aurelia London. These earrings, they're little um, thick gold hoop earrings because I've seen so many people wearing thick gold hoops and I really just wanted to join in on that trend. And I just think they would look cute because I wear a lot of gold jewelry and I never really know what earrings to wear so I usually just wear the same ones. Okay, next parcel I'm gonna be doing the Pangea. So the Pangea is like an actually sustainable shop, but it's very expensive. So I only got one thing from there. I got a white hoodie. I've already like opened this because I was just too excited. Basically with every order, they like plant a tree and literally everything in their shop is recycled. So for example, this hoodie is made from recycled cotton. It's made from a recycled and organic cotton mix and it says that on the wording on the front. Because I've been wanting a plain white hoodie for so long and I just thought why not get it from here. It also says Pangea on the back. I just thought this would be a nice one to get and it's also beneficial to the environment instead of just getting a plain one from like PLT. I also think this would look cool with white joggers. I know this is like off-white 
So I should probably get some off-white joggers, but to just make that kind of like monochrome outfit, I think that would be pretty cool. Next, we're gonna do Black Sunrise. So I didn't actually buy this myself. My mom got this for me. This is a black owned business and they make hats. If you have like curly hair or even if you don't, I definitely recommend getting one of these hats. There are also a lot of similar brands, but the thing about them is that they have a silk lining like satin and I just think that's so good because it's like good for your hair instead of just messing it up which is what I find with most hats. So now I'm actually going to be warm for once and be able to wear a hat without taking it off and looking like an idiot. So this one is from Princess Polly. I've never actually shopped from there before but I've always like loved looking at their stuff. I never actually went for it. I got this UCLA um, sweater. I think it's so cute. Oh my god, it's so soft inside. So this is what it looks like. It's actually like the UCLA brand, but they just sell it on Princess Polly. But it's like an actually cute looking one, not just like a weird bright blue sweater. And I got these like tie-dye stripy jeans because I only have like plain jeans. I want to branch out. This is me like fully being adventurous. I think these would look so cute with any like plain sweater, plain t-shirt, just any like plain tops. This would look really good. I'm excited to try these on and see how they look with some outfits. Next is Depop. So I got these flared joggers from Yellow Pages. Of course, I'll put the link to the Depop in the description. They're like handmade joggers because I only have one pair of light grey joggers and I find that I wear them like all the time. And I also wanted some more relaxed ones, which I can wear like, I don't know, when I don't want to wear like something that's tight. So I think these are gonna be perfect for like around the house, online school, you know, just being at home. But I could also wear these with an outfit and make them look cute, I think. Okay, next. This is from Subdued. Okay, I got this cropped white collar t-shirt. I got this because I only have one collared t-shirt and it's like an oversized, like thrifted one. So I wanted one which I could wear under smaller sweatshirts and also one which wouldn't like come out from underneath. But this could also look really cute not underneath stuff, so fun. Then I honestly can't remember what this is. So I got these um, leopard print trousers because these are meant to look really cool. Why is the waist so small? Do you stretchy, I guess? So I got these leopard print trousers, which I think are gonna look really cute with any like brown tops. I've just seen a lot of people pair leopard print bottoms with like brown tops, and I want to try that out, see if it worked for me. So I just think that would look really cute. And I also got this black and white flowery headband. I just don't have any patterned headbands and I wanted to see how it looks, try something new. They sent two separate Urban Outfitters parcels, which I don't really understand. So in the orange one, I got this um, black and white floral um, headscarf thing. So I wear this with my hair out and then now I would like tie it at the bottom. And I got this black and like rose patterned dress because I wanna try wearing more dresses but with a white top underneath because obviously I'm not confident enough to wear this by itself. I don't really like wearing um, stuff where I feel like I'm naked basically. I think this would work well because it's a kind of mesh pattern and also because it's dark so it'd be like different to the white top. And then in the other Urban Outfitters parcel, I got these dark brown like trousers. I don't know what you call these, like flared corduroy trousers because I have a couple of beige sweatshirts. So I think these would look really cool with a beige top or like a light colored top. I've seen a lot of people do that and I just think it looks really cute. I wanna try it out. I also got another headband, like paisley um, white and black headband. And I got a couple of like pearl necklaces. I know, wow. I got this one which is like a pearl heart. And then this one which is just like a plain pearl necklace. I hope so much that my style looks good after this. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna genuinely cry. Like if my style still is bad after this amount of clothes, 
I'm just gonna be upset. This one is from Depop. This, I got this ages ago, that's why it's in Christmas wrapping. But it's just a brown, like, snake skin, obviously fake, but um, it's like a snake skin brown bag because these, trust me, these look great with a brown outfit because it's just a different, like, brown pattern. The next parcel is Jaded London. So Jaded London is known for being like out there and I'm not very out there so I only got one thing from there. The legendary, the famous, the iconic patchwork jeans. Yes, I did it, I got them. Because I've been looking at jeans like this for so long. I actually got some from Subdued and then I returned them because they didn't fit. So this is like take two. These would look so good with a brown top, with like a plain brown top or any, any plain colored top, these would look really good, I think. But yeah, I'm just really excited to wear these. And last but not least, Brandy Melville, as always, I'm not gonna shop there anymore. Don't hate on me. I am like reducing how much I shop there. And I've been doing pretty well, but for like the whole of 2021, I'm gonna try not to shop there like at all or as little as possible. I got this grey hoodie, um, this is like the grey Carla hoodie, but I got it in size small or extra small because I have the navy blue oversized one, but it's like way too big so I only wear it like while I'm wearing pyjamas, so I wanted to get a smaller version of that. Um, so that's what this is, because I don't have any grey zip up hoodies and I just really want one, that's it. That's the reasoning. I have a feeling I'm gonna be wearing that like 24 seven. And they sent me some stickers, of course. If you wanna buy these, I sell most of my Brandy Melville stickers on Depop. So if you wanna buy some, if you wanna buy some Brandy Melville stickers, check out my Depop because I have way too many and I genuinely do not need them. Okay, and the next few things I got, oh my God. This is why I got the subdued cropped collar shirt. This is like really adventurous for me. I don't wear anything that I know may not look good on me. And I've never worn this, so this is like stretching the limits. I usually just wear joggers and a sweatshirt. So a sweater vest is like really out there for me. I'm very excited. I just got a plain gray one. And I got this plain brown t-shirt, obviously more brown, can't stop. This would look really great with the patchwork jeans. I think I should try that um, because it's just a plain brown top, as I was saying. I think this would look good with any like interesting jeans. And last but not least, I got these um, like yoga pants. That's what they call them, but they're basically just black flared trousers because I don't have any, I actually do, I have black flared joggers, but I just want to get black flared trousers because on my Pinterest, everyone has black flared trousers and I don't have any, so I got them. And that's that. Also, a big tip, if you're shopping, I definitely recommend looking through your Pinterest and finding um, popular themes, like things which a lot of people on your Pinterest are wearing, and a lot of pictures which you've saved. If there's like a common theme, then I recommend getting that because that's something which would definitely fit your style. So for me, Doc Martens were like a very repetitive theme in a lot of Pinterest pictures, and also like black and white Converse, which I got recently. A lot of people on my Pinterest were wearing those, and I just thought, why am I just staring at other people wearing stuff which I know would fit my style and I know that I would want, so I just, I got them. So if you're looking for like style inspiration, I just recommend going onto Pinterest, seeing what a lot of people are wearing on your Pinterest boards and like trying to find that or an alternative. So yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Bye. Now I've got to spend like two hours trying on all this stuff for the B-roll clips. Wish me luck.